first things first, I'm not actually Bubbles the astronaut. I know, shocker. I'm sorry to disappoint. Uh, I have to do an intake manifold gasket on my on my daily right now, so I figure it's a good time to go through the intake manifold and show you guys what I personally do for an emissions slash coolant line slash fucking just cleaning up the intake manifold, deleting everything that I can. So this is my daily, fucking mostly stock KA. I already got the fuel rail off and some other shit, intake pipe and coolant lines. So I don't have EGR, as you can see, that is wide open. When I show you in a few minutes why it's wide open, it will make sense. I'm sure people will actually know what they're doing. They're like, oh my god, you can't fucking do that. It's just going to be a gigantic vacuum leak. Not if you know what the fuck you're doing. So. Let me uh, stop this and uh, rip the intake off, hopefully, and show you what the fuck is up. All right. <sighs> Took me a while. This bolt here was rusted as fuck, and the rust head made it basically swell inside of the intake manifold hole right there. And it was giving me a lot of trouble coming out. Finally got wrestled the bitch off. For future reference, you can take this stud and this stud out and replace it with a bolt and that way if you ever want to do or have to do your intake manifold again with the studs out of the way you no longer have to pull the manifold off that two and a half inches or whatever you can just pull the manifold straight up and out it makes life a lot easier as far as pulling my manifold out the only thing that's actually involved with it is disconnecting the heater the um, thermostat bypass hose PCV is not hooked up to my manifold so it's the thermostat bypass hose brake booster and fuel pressure regulator vacuum line those are the only three lines that I have hooked up to my manifold the way that I did that is by deleting the mess of bullshit metal hard lines that run under the manifold those hard lines consist of a bunch of EVAP lines to do with your swirl control valve and your EGR and all that shit. And so, in order to delete that, the main one to delete is the coolant lines. The coolant line comes from here and in stock form will connect to a metal pipe that's right around here. After that it goes to the stock pipe, it goes into this here, which both goes that way, I'll talk about that in a second, and it exits the back of the manifold here. That one usually connects to your heater core. So in deleting this line, you just run a 5 8 hose from the thermostat uh, plate there to the heater core in a straight fucking run. Makes life a lot simpler, a lot simpler. Now, this little guy. This little guy usually runs back through to your throttle body. After running through your throttle body, it exits the throttle body and comes up and over, goes into this guy. It might be the fucking other way. Boo hoo. This guy I have deleted in the most ghetto fashion known to mankind, which is another thing I'm fixing today. Yeah, don't do this. This only lasts like, well, actually the last time I did this, it lasted about two years, but don't do it. Only lasts a certain amount of time before this blows off and fucking makes you look like an asshole on a freeway. Ask me how I know. So that's deleting coolant lines. Usually you weld that shut or put a proper coolant cap on it. I'm welding it shut tonight. This here is where the thermostat bypass hose usually hooks up to. This is the only spot that actually I have to deal with while pulling the manifold, really. It's the most pain in the ass spot. That's that hose, this guy, okay? Goes there. Next line of business. Idle air control valve. This is a metal hard line. It's pre-throttle body. Right about here is a fitting that comes off my intake pipe. Hooks up to this. That goes past to the AAC valve and also idle air control valve back there. You need that. Who the fuck likes to spread this bullshit on the floor and saying, oh yeah, delete it. It makes the car fine, you know, totally streetable. If it ain't broke, don't fuck with it. Unless you are fucking, you know, you cannot find an idle air control valve that fucking works, which, yes, they are still fucking available secondhand all over the internet. If you can't find one and you 
you really want to fucking delete it, fine. Be my guest. Just don't fucking cry about it when your car can't idle for shit in the cold weather or whatever. You're going to have to bump your idle up. You're going to have to drive around fucking town at 1,100 RPMs looking like an asshole. Go do it. But these things work fine. They don't fucking grenade under boost. They, It works. Don't fuck with it. Idle air control valve. That's number one. Number two. Brake booster. Number three. Fuel pressure regulator. The only vacuum cap I have on here at this point is this little guy, which I also have to replace underneath the throttle body. A lot of guys forget about that. Right here is usually a vacuum nipple. I tap it and thread it for NPT and put a pipe plug in it. That's a good spot for boost reference and, and uh, boost gauges and all that shit. Not good for wastegate. Wastegate belongs near the outlet of the compressor housing near your turbo. All right, that's most of the intake shit. Now, EGR delete. My EGR is wide open. Oh, you can't do that, it's a giant vacuum leak. Yeah, not if you're me. If you look down in there, there's a pipe plug. On the side is the Allen head plug, Allen key plug. It's a chamber that runs through the manifold and disperses your EGR gas between each cylinder individually. It does so through a tiny little hole that would have been right there. But I tap that thread it for NPT and put a pipe plug in its place. That's how I get rid of EGR. I don't even want a fucking plate. I don't like doing it. I don't know why. It's just my way of doing it. You don't have to do it this way, but if you ever want to be extra fucking nerdy and clean, this is a way you can do it. Last thing I deleted with pipe plugs, PCB. If you are stock, you would have four pipes, four metal hard lines coming off of these and collecting to one metal hard line. That one metal hard line usually connects to the PCB valve right there. I have mine hooked up to a straight fucking hose and hooked up pre-throttle body. That also is no longer an actual PCV valve, it's a straight through fitting. It'll help you later on when you go boost. So, with the throttle body line, throttle fucking, uh, throttle body line, the coolant lines disconnected and deleted, and all the EGR and PCV deleted, Manifold is a very fucking simple thing to come off as long as it's not rusted as shit. This is how I do deletes on an intake manifold. You can take from it what you will. I don't give a flying fuck, but I'm sick and tired of saying, oh, what do I need to keep? What do I need to delete on the post? So hopefully this will clear up some shit. If you have any questions, PM me, whatever. Uh, just read the pin posts, go through the files, do all the regular shit and then come asking for help. Because if you're at least slightly educated or if you've seen one of these things before, then it makes all of our lives a lot easier. Fuck this shit.